Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Considering the geography of India, the armed forces have diverse problems and challenges to handle. Indian Army is perhaps the only army in the world which is permanently deployed on the world's highest inaccessible and hostile battlefields such as Siachen and Ladakh. At the altitudes greater than 5500 meters and temperature falling below minus 30 degrees Celsius, it becomes challenging to supply essential goods and arms and ammunition to our armed forces. The logistics becomes risky and time-consuming in these areas. Therefore, it becomes extremely important for India to develop helicopter drones to support Indian Army's high-altitude military logistics and provide last mile connectivity. This can also be used by Indian Navy to be operated from deck for tactical surveillance. So, back in January 2021, Indian Navy has also opened a bid for 10 such ship-borne drones. Indian government has cleared around 13,000 crore rupees for this procurement. Now, HL has come forward with the concept of RUAV in Aero India 2021 to provide the next generation military logistic supports at high altitudes. They are also known as mule drones. The RUAV 200 is fully autonomous unmanned helicopter for deployment in hostile and otherwise inaccessible conditions at high altitudes. It is a coaxial rotor helicopter drone designed to perform various operational roles such as intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance operation. It can also aid in operations of tanks, infantry vehicles and artilleries. The RUAV will feature lightweight composite structure with fault tolerant automatic flight control system. Cargo bay is designed to carry a wide variety of stores and supplies. It will have a surveillance payload in its forward underbelly which is a day and night camera. The camera will be primarily used to help crew to guide the drone through mountainous terrain. Additionally, camera can also be used for surveillance and reconnaissance mission. The RUV follows a model design which makes its assembly and transportation very easy. It has been designed for high altitude operations and less maintainability. Various automatic features such as automatic landing and takeoff of the RUV makes its operational and handling pretty easy. The RUAV will have service ceiling of around 6000 meters and hovering ceiling of around 5500 meters. It can carry payload of up to 30 to 40 kg and have maximum range of 100 kilometers. The 200 kg RUV will be able to operate at a temperature ranging from minus 35 to 55 degrees Celsius. It will have a range of over 100 kilometers and endurance of 3 hours. It will be capable of flying at a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 6 km. The RUAV will be powered by a Wankel engine which is a type of internal combustion engine using an eccentric rotary mechanism to convert pressure into rotating motion. Now as per the latest developmental updates, HL has started procuring various parts for the UAV rotor system. The UAV rotor system consists of main rotor blades, main rotor head and upper control system and tail rotor system. HL is also procuring autopilot system which will consist of a compatible ground control station for controlling the RUAV and its payload. It will feature a data link for communication between the RUAV and its ground control station. The RUAV is under the final stage of assembly and after completing its final assembly, the system will undergo ground test and then it will be taken for the flight test. The first flight of RUAV was expected between 2021 and early 2022, which we have not witnessed. Considering the present progress, we might see RUAV in action by the end of this year. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.